Well, thank you again for joining us today as we're praying in all aspects surrounding the media. And with me to talk more about that is Steve Cox, a good friend who is chair of a group called Christians in Media. Before we talk about some of the big prayer needs for Christians working primarily in secular media, a lot of your members are working at a lot of the national media organizations. Just, just give us the background to what Christians in Media is all about, Steve. Gladly. It is actually, believe it or not, 53 years old this year. Um, it's been known under a different name, you know, Church and Media Network, the Medianet. And in October 2018, we changed it, the outward facing name, we changed to Christians in Media. It's our Ron Seal tin moment when uh, it, we do what it says on the tin. Um, praise God. Um, and really what we're about is that we are a network. I tend to call this a community, a family of Christians who are called to serve God in media. And we support and encourage and inspire them in all sorts of different ways. Until COVID-19 came in and the lockdown, it was very much to do with face-to-face -face gatherings where people could come together and share their successes, their challenges, pray for each other, which was really, really great. Um, we've carried it on during lockdown online. So we're still keeping that support network going. So really we're a support network but I love, love to call us, we're a family who we can share things with and pray for each other. And we'll talk a bit later about some of the ways you've creatively managed to still have these gatherings, but online. You've got two really key events coming up in the next few weeks, but just set the scenario for us, the kind of Christians working in media, uh, the kind of places they work, and also what are the biggest challenges they face, particularly being a Christian in a very challenging environment? Well, I can give you one immediate example of a Christian working in media. One of our trustees, for example, uh, works for the, the company which produces Songs of Praise. So there's a Christian who works in the BBC. There are many Christians who work in the BBC, the ITN networks, Channel 4. And there's a many Christians who work in printed press. Um, a lot of the time, when people go into media, you know, journalists, reporters, etc., uh, they go in for the best motives and they're motivated by God to go in there and serve him there. And there are many, many Christians working in media. Sometimes it's difficult to express your faith in, those, uh, in that context. Uh, and so we talk to them about being influential for the kingdom. We talk to them about uh, seeing them flourish in their faith so that they can beacons of, be beacons of salt and light wherever God places them in media. Uh, and a lot of the time, it's not about preaching. It's not about standing on the soapbox and proselytizing. It's about being influential in those small moments, whether it's around the water cooler, whether it's in a meeting where you're encouraging someone for doing something. Uh, just changing the atmosphere of where you are. And that's what Christians tend to do. It's, not a, it's like a lot of other uh, areas of life. It's not easy in the UK being a Christian in a secular workplace but we are praying for them that they will be influential for the kingdom in all sorts of different ways. So they're across the whole variety, the whole spectrum of media, and that includes social media as well. Do you have any examples of how they've adapted themselves? There must be fear for losing their jobs in the midst of this lockdown. Uh, are there examples of people that have come through that? Yes, uh, well, a lot of people come back to me, and yes, there have been many people have been furloughed, but many Christians working in media have actually found themselves busier than before. You might be one example, Peter. Um, they're finding that they can adapt and work at home. But with technology, it's fantastic, isn't it? We can work at home. We can liaise and engage with people from you know across the world. So there's many, many Christians working in media who are actually finding this actually an encouraging time because their workload's gone up but there are you know i would encourage people to pray for those like a lot of people in different sectors who may have lost their job because of covid19 and that has hit media quite significantly there are many christians working in local uh, local media particularly local newspapers where they are struggling with their finances anyway but covid19 has severely affect that but it's across the board it's a cross section of different um, experiences to be honest with you. And could you just lead uh, those joining us today in a prayer for your members and for the work of Christians in media? 
I would love to. Um, I might go on for some time, so just bear with me. <laughs> but I, I would first of all preface it by saying I would encourage uh, those who are listening and watching this perhaps that uh, they would not grumble about the media. It's very easy to grumble about media, to be honest with you. But uh, the vast majority of people that go into media go in with the good motives and good intentions. Um, I think really what I would encourage us to do, I love to pray for Christians who have been called to serve God in media, to really, as I said before, to flourish in their faith and to be influential for the kingdom. Pray for more of the media content to be filled with love, grace and compassion. Pray for people in media to call out those in, uh, in power, to hold them to account. Pray for injustice to be called out where it's seen and, and possibly not seen. And I pray for more young Christians to see media as an honourable profession and to see it as a calling from God and consider entering media because I believe oh, I really would love to see more Christians enter media to bring about change, to change the atmosphere, to bring the kingdom of God into a very, very crucial area of life. Let's face it, we all consume media. We all take our news and information from all sorts of different platforms. And there are many Christians actually who work in, on those and in those platforms. So pray for more Christians to enter media and bring about change. And could you lead us in a prayer now on those areas? Will do. Lord, we do thank you for all those who have been called to serve you in media. We thank you that there are many, many Christians who, are in, who love you so much that they just want to serve you in this area. We pray that they will, as I said, flourish in their faith we pray that through their flourishing that they will be influential for your kingdom wherever they are around the water cooler in those meetings when they're leading group meetings it, it lord i pray that you'll give them the power and the authority the holy spirit to be sought and light in those situations lord i thank you for the many many people who are in it at the bbc or itn they're also in, in a cross printed press I pray, Lord, that your love and grace will be seen and be evident across all this media. I pray particularly at this moment for local press because they are facing really difficult times. And I pray that you will sort of raise them up and, and bless them, Lord, all those people who work in local media. And I also pray for churches, Lord, to engage positively with their local, their regional, their national and their social media, to engage and to see the media as as an ally, as a friend, to share good news stories with their media. So I bring all of this to you, Lord, in, in, in the amazing and wonderful name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And as I said earlier, you're organising two key events coming up in the next few weeks. Just share the details of those with us. Yeah, thanks, uh, Peter. It's uh, really, really encouraging I can do this. Um, on the Thursday, the 22nd of October, we are broadcasting our very first Christians and Media service. Uh, it's going to be broadcast on YouTube and it starts at 7 p.m. in the evening. We have the Bishop of Dover as our main speaker and we have Lucy Grimble, who is connected with David's 10th Festival. Um, she is leading our worship, plus a host of different Christian leaders and, and uh, media people. Uh, we have three key people praying for us. Gavin Calvis part of, part of that. Um, we have the Reverend Christopher Landau. Uh, they're all participating and it's being anchored by Chini McDonald, uh, who is the head of public engagement uh, at uh, Christian Aid. And she's one of our trustees. Um, that's on Thursday, the 22nd of October. Please go to our Christians and Media website for all details, because we're inviting people to register on our Eventbrite page so we can connect you much more easily. And on Sunday, the 1st of November, we are inviting churches to set aside time to pray for the media, to pray for their local, regional, national and social media, and especially to pray for the Christians in their community, in their congregations who work in media and with media, to honour them, to pray for them. It's just 10 minutes, perhaps 15 minutes, whole, whole meeting for if you like to do that, but we're asking for that to be set aside on Sunday, the 1st of November. And what's your website for people to find out more? Yes, I didn't make it clear. Um, it's christiansinmedia.co.uk. Christiansinmedia.co.uk. And the Christians in Media bit is all one word lowercase. 
Wonderful. Thank you so much for speaking to us, Steve Cox from Christians in Media. It's a pleasure.